kinds of material so i will be talking about stress strain and different elastic constants like modulus of elasticity modulus of rigidity poisson's ratio bulk modulus and also we will talk about strain energy resilience and proof resilience so let's start first we will discuss about important mechanical property and first property is elasticity suppose we have a material and if we are applying force in this material and after application of force this material get deformed and when force is removed then this material return back to its original position this material is called elastic material and by and the property by which it is returning back to its original position is known as elasticity just observe the image in the image you can observe a ball and a rod which is elastic rod here and when this ball falls on the rod we can observe that rod is first deforming and when ball goes away from rod that is when load is removed then rod is coming back to its original position so this rod is elastic and property by which it is returning back is known as elasticity now next property is plasticity suppose we have a object this is our object and if i am applying force and it get deformed after application of force now when i remove force from this material then the material does not come back to its original position that is this position and this position is not same that is it is deformed this type of material is called plastic and the property by which it is getting deformed and it, and it is not coming back to its original position is known as plasticity next property is ductility ductility means any material suppose this is our material and if we can change this material into wire by application of force then this property is called ductility next property is brittleness suppose we have a material and by application of force or any pressure in this material this material breaks that is they cannot be changed into wired form so this type of material is called brittle material example of brittle material is glass an example of ductile material is gold copper wire etc next property is known as malleability now malleability is a property in which a material can be changed into thin sheets that is by application of pressure in all sides we are changing this material into sheets so this is known as malleability next property is toughness toughness is defined as property of a material which enable it to absorb energy without fracture suppose this is our material and if a force is applied in this and the energy absorbed by this material before fracture is known as toughness now let's understand this with a graph suppose i am drawing graph between load that is p and elongation that is del EL is our elastic limit and F is our fracture point. So suppose this is our material and if I am applying any type of load, say I am applying load P, and after application of load, this is fracture point of the material. Means after this point, the material get fractured. So the energy absorbed by material till this point is known as toughness. Next, we will discuss hardness. Hardness is ability of a material to resist indentation or surface abrasion. let's understand this suppose we have a material and if i am applying any type of load in it so there is no surface cracks there is no indentation in this material and there is no abrasion in this material that is suppose this is our material and if i am throwing if i am leaving a heavy ball to fall in this material then there will be no depression form here there will be no cracks in this material if no crack is formed then this material is hard material so hardness is the ability of a material to resist surface abrasion to resist cracks to resist indentation next property which we will discuss is strength suppose we have a material and if i am applying a force say a compressive force and if the internal resisting force are developed if we apply force in a material then internal resisting forces are developed 
then this force they generally resist the deformation if i will apply force in this material suppose this is our material if i apply force then this material should deform like this means it should deform like this but what is happening internal resisting forces are developing and it is resisting this force in opposite direction in this direction then this internal resisting force is known as strength of